Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and we are here with the Stormy Skies pack today who is still here in the parks of Yellowstone and oh my goodness hopefully we can make it oh thank goodness Glenn, Glenn, you're back to normal. Okay, so last time we were here, Glenn was having a little bit of a hard time figuring out. Okay, there's food down there. Let's see if we can work our way down. We should be able to get our puppies over to the summer hunting ground. This is the last little run before we're able to reach the forest. Come on, guys. Come on. Geo, Maple, Daisy. Oh, and last time we were here, Glenn got stuck. Like, he was very, very confused about life, and he was kind of keeping an eye on the grasses here. Hopefully, it's going to be safe for us to cross. But I'm hoping we'll be able to very, very quickly reach the summer hunting ground without too many incidents. Glenn? I'd really appreciate it if you... Glenn, are you okay? Glenn, I'd appreciate your help in, like, defending our children down here. Geo! Oh no, it looks like Geo's gotten stuck by a boulder. But yes, welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7. Oh, thank goodness. Glenn, are you coming to get Geo? Oh, there we go. He was just bringing Geo with us. Okay, so we're gonna be okay. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there's the family. Hi guys! Oh my goodness, I'm actually so happy to see them. I want to like wagtail. Can we do some playing? Yeah, there we go! Hey puppies! Hey puppies, hey puppies, you want to play for just a second? Not too long though. Oh gosh, there's a lucky rabbit's foot. <gasps> oh no, wait, come here, come here, come here. Yes, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Okay, let's grab this food. And this will give us like one morsel of food that we'll be able to give the babies. All right, come on children. Ooh. I have the tiniest morsel of food. We're going to work our way over to that elk. We're going to defend you guys from whatever coyotes and other things try to come and eat you. Let's make sure I can actually see where you are. And we are going to see if we can get this litter of the Stormy Skies pack safely to the summer hunting grounds. As you guys know, we unfortunately did lose one of the puppies that Misty and Glenn have, even though it's a pretty easy year, because an eagle came down and swooped in and stole Falcon from us and killed Falcon while we were trying to chase away a coyote. It was so unexpected and it was so sad. It happened so quickly. I just couldn't believe how it was over so suddenly. All right, good. And it really was, it was just like a terrible choice in trying to get rid of the coyote or trying to chase off the eagle. And we didn't quite get to where we thought we were going. Oh, Geo, good job. Oh, he's being such a good, oh, Glenn's being such a good dad. Geo behaved himself on the little run over here. And I think we should be able to make it safely to the summer hunting grounds. I say that every time though, and then things happen. You never know what's going to happen. But I do know that the Stormy Skies pack, in an interesting twist of fate, has actually become the stronger of the two packs that we have been watching go side by side. Lunala, unfortunately, either through her own, her own decisions on ego and pride. Was that the sound of a coyote? Okay, no, we're still good or just through the terrible curse that she has of the curse of the eagle, which has really lashed out at both her and a little bit here at Stormy Skies Pack. The eagles came in and they killed almost all of Lunala's puppies. She only ended up with Shadow that she had to pick up and carry, and she ran as, as far as she could with Shadow all the way to the summer hunting grounds and then out of the forest of Yellowstone. So that chapter of the moon pack is over. So our cousin pack has actually had that chapter end. Lunala and Copper are gone. They took their son Shadow and they'll never be returning to Yellowstone again. But we might have a new leader of the Moon Pack. We might have somebody come in and fill in the Moon Pack paw prints where, where Lunala and Copper are now gone forever. One of Lunala's siblings may be stepping in to begin a new chapter, a new era in the Moon Pack. So we will have to see how that will go. All right, Maple, Geo, Daisy. I'm listening very carefully for any coyotes. They're starting to get a little bit hungry, so we do want to keep moving. But Misty and Glenn have been really good parents. They've been keeping a close eye on their children. They've been making sure that their kids will stay close to them. And they really did try so hard, even if they did start off with a lot of friction and like how to raise puppies, trying to figure out who was going to be more successful. And I think they'll have one more litter like we normally do, three litters for each pack before moving on to the next chapter. And we have a few babies to pick from, so it was really sad because apparently Falcon was one of your favorites and we did lose Falcon pretty early on. 
So we'll have to see which one, Maple, Daisy, or Geo. I have to admit I have a soft spot for both Maple and Geo because they're brown wolves. And it's been a very long time. I don't think we've ever had a brown wolf actually end up being uh, one of the leaders of any of the packs. All right, let's come back over here. Come along, little ones. And I think it's going to be very, very interesting to see which wolf ends up taking over the moon pack, too. All right, come on, everybody. Good. So far, so good. I know we should be able to make it okay without any coyotes, but I'm still super nervous. All right, come along, little ones. We're almost there. And then you guys are also going to have to vote on what the ancestor challenge for Misty and Glenn is going to be. And so the link to the straw poll will be down in the video description below. You can click on the straw poll and you guys can see what the ancestor challenge... I'm listening so carefully for any coyotes. For the next litter in the Stormy Skies pack will be. And also thank you guys so much for letting me know how much you absolutely adore and love Wolf Quest. So we will be continuing on with Wolf Quest on occasion. I think that moving over into Sims 3 will keep things very, very fresh. And we might kind of do a blend of Wolf Quest and the Stray Pack Challenge. So there's definitely going to be some very, very interesting things emerging there. I'm still trying to figure out how best we would be able to enjoy our beautiful wolves and bring them into a new world. There we go. There's Maple. So we'll have to see what happens. I have a few ideas. In fact, I have a few radical ideas. And I always love hearing your guys' stories. But for as long as you are begging and requesting that we continue on with the Wolf Quest stories, we will. Oh my goodness, we're going to make it here already? Man, Misty and Glenn, you two might have a chance to start preparing, like, for a new den. Look at Glenn! I think Glenn honestly is going to go down as one of the absolute best fathers, one of the best mates we have ever, ever had. I know that Moondancer and her mate definitely were a fantastic pair because they never lost a single puppy. They were very, very powerful. They were very strong. But Glenn, oh, we're here. Come on, children. This is usually when an eagle likes to show up and we can't fight the eagles right now. So it would be a wonderful thing. Let's give it a good howl. It would be a wonderful thing if you guys could could move a little quicker. You're getting to be bigger puppies now. You need to understand when we need to pick it up, pick up the pace, pick up the pace. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. And yeah, then we might get Misty and Glenn actually started on... Yes, 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 yes. Daisy, Daisy, come on, Daisy. Ah, oh, there we go. That was actually very easy. That was just a nice little straight walk. So Misty and Glenn did end up having an easier year. Other than the fact that the curse of the eagles did spread to them for a little while. So we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to move Misty and Glenn onward. We will get them settled in so that they can get ready for their third and final litter. So let's go ahead and prepare for that really quickly. All right, and here we go. So by now, a couple of years will have passed. They would have had Daisy, Maple, and Geo with them for quite some time. They would have raised them in the summer hunting grounds to adult wolves. And they would have left. They would have become dispersal wolves. So Maple, Daisy, and Geo, just like that will transition into being dispersal wolves, finding territories of their own. So we are back here, and we're here with Misty and Glenn. They're a little bit older, even though it just happened so quickly like that. They're a couple of years older. They're ready for their third and final litter, and I'm very excited to see if they're going to be boys, if they're going to be girls, how many of them will be, what challenge level we need to be at, and in fact, so... You guys need to pick the Ancestor Challenge. The Ancestor Challenge will have to begin next time because there is going to be the straw poll in the video description. So be sure you guys go and check that out. And then the difficulty level where they had a pretty easy year with their last litter. So three out of the four survived. And this year, they are actually going to be at one, two, three. They're going to be at a challenging level because we rolled a three. And no, they were on pretty easy, actually. Oh, no, <laughs> they were on pretty easy. It just loaded as arduous. So they were on pretty easy. So one, two, three. All right. OK, here we go. They are on a bring it on year, you guys. So Misty and Glenn are on a bring it on year. This is going to be kind of interesting. I don't know what the ancestor challenge is going to be just yet. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of hunting. Man, they're so fast. So we can try to make sure that we get plenty of the prey prepared because bring it on years, you always want to try to do as much hunting of the elk as possible. And we'll have to see what ancestor challenge you guys actually end up picking. Oh, there we go. Um, 
when they're at this side, we might as well try to chase some of them towards the summer hunting grounds at this stage. So we'll get the hunting done really quickly. And it's kind of surreal to think how this would be their final year. And I can't wait to see... Let's dodge those elk. Uh, I didn't even hear Glenn get kicked by one. That was a good job on his part. Alright, let's take it down as quickly as possible, Glenn. Because this is going to be what we're going to have to hunt off of. Eat off of. Oh, he's doing good. <laughs> and we just kind of shove him out of the way. Alright, good, good, good. Good, good, good. She's going to turn around any second now. This is a good spot. Alright, fighter Glenn, fighter, we've got it. We've got this, we've got this. There we go. A little bit of food will take just enough to keep us moving again. And then what are the stats, I wonder? I actually want to take a quick peek at the, the pack stats. So we're up to almost 100 elk killed. Um, only one bull elk killed for all of the Stormy Skies pack over the last couple generations. That's kind of interesting. I did not expect that. Uh, we've chased off 41 grizzlies. So, man, that's kind of interesting. We'll have to see how many we chase off this time. Alright, let's see if we can convince another elk or two to head towards the summer hunting grounds. And then next time we'll definitely start off with having puppies. And I think we'll stay at this den. I think it's been a long summer. Long couple of summers. Misty and Glenn trained their children pretty well on how to hunt the elk, how to work together as a team, how to make sure that they can pick out the weakest one, isolate it, drive it towards wherever the other wolves are. All right, all the good hunting tactics and hunting skills. And I can just imagine that they came across many, many, many lucky rabbit's foots as time went on too. That was really fun that we actually found a lucky rabbit's foot for the pups just at the last second like that. Probably should have made this one go a little bit further. Don't you kick Glenn in the head. We are not gonna lose Glenn because an elk kicks him in the head like this. There we go. And we'll go ahead, we'll let her rest for just a minute. We've, we've done some good hunting. We're gonna rest for just a moment, maybe until dawn. Cause time is passing. And I think Misty actually, more so than her cousin, Lunala for sure has had much, much, much more luck with adjusting to life in the wild and being a wild wolf. Unfortunately for Lunala, things just didn't turn out very well for her. So, hmm. And we'll have to see who the next heir... Oh, we lost the elk herd because we took a nap. Well, Fooey, I didn't know that would happen. All right, Glenn, we've got we've to find where the elk are again. So let's continue to look for them. That's not good. <laughs> that really wasn't part of the plan, but they deserved a rest. Oh, uh, do you remember when, like, the pups freaked out over here when we were hunting the elk? Oh, gosh. But, yeah, that was not part of the plan. All right, and let's run across the way. Uh, I hear the elk. I don't see the elk. Let's see if we can find them. I don't see their scent anywhere. We should be downwind if they're behind us. Okay, there's two dead elk over there. We hunted those ones down. We'll have to see if we can find them somewhere. Hmm. I don't want to have to go, like, on a big hunt. Actually, I think it's kind of interesting. Well, let's get out of elk territory and then we'll turn around. Sometimes that helps us to stumble upon new elk. I don't think they'd come this far. Yeah, let's turn around and we'll search this way. Man, it's very pretty early, early morning. Wow. Yeah, Misty... Misty and Glenn, they just have much better luck in just being able to, like, support each other and survive in the wild. Misty, what are you doing? I didn't- I did not tell you to sit down. That was really interesting. She sat down on her own. <laughs> She's just enjoying the beautiful morning sunrise, I suppose. I think we lost our elk. Well, that's interesting. I didn't plan on, like, letting the elk disappear on us. But yeah, we'll continue with their stories and we'll have to see where they go. But I will admit, you guys, even though it won't be the same, I'm very excited to see what The Sims 3 might be able to offer us. For our wolves, where are they? Ah, there they are! Wonderful! Alright, let's see if we can chase one or two towards the summer hunting grounds again. We'll aim to get one a little bit further than we did before. Nope, nope, nope. There you go. Alright, Glenn, let's work together. But yeah, it definitely won't be the same because it probably won't be able to be with wolves quite in the way that we understand them. But I have some ideas. I have some ideas of things we might be able to do. Alright, keep moving. That's right, you keep moving, cow elk. Go, 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 go. Alright, and we're going to chase her towards the summer hunting grounds. 
And more than anything, your guys' inspiration, your guys' little snippets of story. I really love Misty and Glenn. I, just because Glenn has worked so hard to protect his puppies time and time again. Where'd that elk go? What the heck? No elk! Look at the lines crossed. Look at the sense get confused. Where did this elk come from? What? There's just like another dead elk all of a sudden. All right. Is, did she turn around again? There she is. All right. We've got her. She thinks she's going to get away from us, doesn't she, Glenn? But that's not the case. All right. And we've got to chase her through the rocks. But yeah, I feel like Misty and Glenn are one of the couples. Kind of like, um... All right. If you're not going to go any further, then this will be your doom. All right. Keep going, Glenn. If we, the further along we can get her through the rocks, the better. But the moment she starts trying to turn around, or no, Glenn, don't kill her in the water. Don't kill her in the water, Glenn. All right, we'll have to chase her across. No, Glenn. All right, turn her, turn her. Glenn, turn her. There we go, there we go. Wait, Glenn, don't chase her in the water, please. There, that howl will prevent him, hopefully, from trying to kill her in the water. If the elk die in the water, then they sink to the bottom of the river and we lose that kill. Oh, wow, but look how beautiful that is. With the dawn light right there. Gorgeous. All right, and here we go. And let's go ahead. Come on, down you go. Down you go. We are not going to let you. There we go. There. All right, and we'll feed off of her. So there's three elk already prepared, lined up in a little row four, technically, but I don't know if I trust that fourth one. It just showed up out of nowhere and it was half carcass. Maybe it was sick, maybe it just got tired from the long winter. And we'll chase one more towards the den, and then we'll have to leave the fate of Misty and Glenn in your guys' hands. So don't forget to click on the link in the video description because it's up to you guys. You're going to speak for the ancestors of the wolves, and you're going to choose which ancestor dream we are going to be following so that these two can hopefully have another beautiful litter of puppies. All right. Who's gonna start running? Is it gonna be you? It's gonna be these two. All right, and we'll turn them, get them across the river. We'll hunt them down. And then we'll be able to bring on the third and final litter for Misty and Glenn. And if you guys have any name ideas, then let me know, because these two have been pretty special. Glenn really has gone above and beyond when it comes to trying to make sure that there's plenty of food for the puppies and making sure that they're protected. All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. Though Copper did sh save Shadow's life. I will admit that, that happened for the moon pack. Copper did save Shadow from drowning. So he's trying to be a good dad too. All right, this, this elk's trying to get away, so we better take her down here. Oh, wow, look at the thick snowdrifts. I think hunting in winter is actually one of my favorite time with the wolves. All right, and there we go. So we've got a little bit of food stored aside, and we're going to have to see what you guys pick as the ancestor challenge. And then we'll bring in the next generation of wolves here for the Stormy Skies pack. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.